Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn, and today we've got some more work to do over here on getting all of our stuff set up. So I think I've got three days left. We're going to try and at least get in a couple more items here. I'm going to take these out first, and we're going to leave that lowered down. We're going to put in some landscaping here. I do want more of these in here well that's not even close to high enough we'll get all of those in there and i'm gonna take that out we'll go ahead get this in there there we go and now if i need to we'll take this gate out and the water should all come into here so we've got a little bit of extra time speaking of which we can probably go ahead and remove some of this here as well so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. There we go. And we'll put some more blocks in here. There we go. All of those are in. Let's see. We've got two there that are correct. And now we can start coming around this way. There we go. Don't think I need them out that far, though. So let's take this down uh, about this many. There we go. That'll give us a bit of a waterfall here. And hopefully we will uh, be able to use that to our advantage. Last episode, we tossed these in, but we didn't get to detonate them. So there we go. Quick detonation, and that's all fertile land there. Good. Let's just toss in, uh, how about eggplants? We'll just do eggplants. There we go. And that'll hopefully raise the amount that we have so we can get some more food, although our food is looking pretty good at the moment. I'm noticing over here that I must have miscalculated, and our demand on this one particular engine is only 350. So we're going to go ahead, toss in... Another fermenter here. There we go. We're just going to put it right on the outside. Again, probably temporarily. But we'll set that to mushrooms so we can use the couple of mushrooms that we do have. And hopefully that gets us even more food variety. Something else I want to do. We've got the coffee brewery that we have not used yet so we're going to toss that in there and let's go underneath and see if we can find a place to connect it in in fact it looks like we can connect it in right here so let's take that out put this in make that the highest of priorities take this one out and there's the high power shaft and that there and that should at least get our beavers some coffee. So maybe they'll stay awake a little longer, or maybe they'll just be a little bit happier about being awake. I do want to move these gates up. So we'll go ahead, put in some dirt there. And we will see if that's tall enough. Does that reach the top now? Yep, it sure does. I feel like I don't really even need this at the moment, since it's mostly going out this way anyway. So we're just going to spill it this way. In fact, that might reduce the water that's going off this side. And then we'll just start telling them, go ahead, build that up. Well, maybe not that one. But we're going to do this. There we go. Looks good. We'll let them keep building on that. It might take them a minute, but we're not in that big of a hurry, are we? Going around double checking to see if there was anything else I can spend science on. And the last place that I have to unlock here was the hydroponic garden. I think everything else I've got. Let me check the coffee since I just put that in as well. Oh, yep, there we go. That should be everything. We are going to make sure that they stay on regular beaver, though. There we go. Somebody will bring that stuff in there. But that should pretty much do it for science. So we're going to go ahead and pause a couple of these for now. I don't really need that many science points at the moment. So we'll just pause those and that should 
help quite a bit with the power. Our battery should at least be going up somewhat. I'm going to go ahead and flatten some of this out over here as well. I think, actually, do I want it at this height? Let's check over here. Is that the same height as that over there? Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that's going to be interesting. Um, you know what? We're just going to move some of this down, but maybe not all of it. So we'll start with the single dynamites over here. Oops, that's not a single. The single dynamites over here to give us a little bit more room. There we go. And then we'll probably build another one of these terraforming stations just to be able to get some more of this in a little bit quicker. We still have a decent amount of open space over here. And I've got an idea of what to do with a little of it. First of all, we're going to go ahead and put in a bit more storage here. There we go. We can fit in two more here. And then if we need to, we can come back and put more on top if we want. However, I'm also going to do something like this. Let's take and go up from here. Uh, where do I want to go up from? I need a two around this side, don't I? I need one. There we go. And can we do the same thing on the other side? No, it doesn't look like it. So let's change this around slightly. And we'll do twos all the way down here. Maybe. There we go. We've got the twos in here. And we will put in a one. This will let us up there. And then we can build more storage up top for some of the base items. So we'll just put the storage here. There we go. And oh, let's get a path in there. Get one path. We'll go this way. And then we'll do something similar here. Where we put in this. One of these. Another set of stairs. And then twos around the side here. There we go. And we'll do large storages over here as well. So that should let us store a lot of the other base items. But they'll take their time, I'm sure, putting all of that in. And then we'll come back and look at this as well. Now, over here, we have got some more space for this. Also, I think I'd like to toss a... a what is this? A, a swimming pool in there? Yes. So let's start with that. Let's go remove all these here. That looks good. We'll do a well-being. We'll do one swimming pool close to here for them. There we go. And then here, we'll do a couple more mud baths. There we go. And then we'll hook it up. Which should be pretty easy because it's right there. So we'll just go power that. We'll say that's high priority so they get it done. And that is a pretty good entertainment area for these guys. But to also help their uh, well-being, which is now at 35, I'm going to give them kind of a like a little market area, I guess you could call it with all of the different consumable items. So we'll do storage, and I believe there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe there's seven. Well, let me pause it. Let's take a look real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, plus coffee and water. So they need eight, and then coffee and water we'll double check that is it eight or nine it is oh it is nine okay because berries don't give anything but we'll put some over here anyway so we'll take away one of those do that and then mirror it on this side and 
grab our small storages here. There we go. And we'll put some of everything in here, uh, along with some water, some coffee, and set them to be delivered every day. So hopefully they're full. And then when they wake up and before they go to bed, they can stop here and get all their food necessities taken care of. Our busy beavers over here have gotten quite a bit of stuff done. In fact, enough that they need some more stuff to do. So let's go ahead, assign them a little bit more over here. We're going to come up two on each side here. We're going to come two. Oops. I only wanted one there. I want two here. We'll take that out of there. Every once in a while, it just has a tendency to skip and give you that extra little bit of junk that you don't want in there. There you go. All of that can go in there. All of this can go in there. Let's fill in this. There we go. All of this. We do want these to come around to here. And let's even that out with another one on top. There we go. We're going to have to put some stairs in to remove some of these trees here. There we go. Let's connect that up. That's connected. Let's say get rid of those. And we're actually going to need a place to get rid of a lot of this stuff. So we'll toss in that. Do a little cleanup around here. We'll toss in stairs here, stairs here. Connect them in. And we'll say, let's clean all that up as well. Any more trees? Oh, there's one right there we need to get rid of. So we'll take stairs down here. And we'll also take some stairs up this way. So let them get up there. And now we'll just let them go. Noticing we're getting a little bit too much water down here. So I'm going to actually make this area larger. So we'll say, let's take those out. Let's take these out. And then we're going to toss some dynamite here. And once this comes back up, we will toss dynamite in here as well, and probably some in here. There's one, two, three. And we'll do a two here to level it out. And hopefully that gives this the ability to send out more water if it needs to, to keep this from flooding. I don't know how much more that we're going to need from this so we're gonna move it let's say storage we will put another one down here for the time being yeah that'll work just fine connect it up with a road do the same thing get some dirt say obtain we're gonna switch this to empty for now and once it's empty we'll go ahead and actually no we'll put it on supply if it gets extra dirt, great. If not, then that's not a big deal. I'd rather have it somewhere else anyway. Noticing the corruption is still sneaking out just a little bit here. So we're going to go ahead, take this one out, and we'll try putting down... There we go. He's got to it. We'll put one barrier here, see if that fixes it. It shouldn't be coming from anywhere else. Also, I'm not sure where it's coming from on this side. We might just toss down a safety barrier there. But other than that, I can't really see where it would be coming from. So we'll leave that to them and we'll come back and check. We got our dynamite in here. So let's go ahead and remove that for now. There we go. We'll send them down here to remove most of these trees. Those can go. Those can go. Let's get in. Oops. This here. We'll take a road. A road to there. And we'll say, go ahead, remove these as well. There we go. And, oops, I almost missed one. We'll have them get all of those out of there. And we'll come back and get to these in a minute. Oh, looks like they missed one there. Not a big deal. We'll connect this in. And then... 
let's see if we can find... Oh, I'd like to put down some larger dynamite here. So let's go ahead and put in the two dynamite here. Um, we'll leave these out because I'd like to put a road back here so that we know that we can get to all of the dynamite. All of this can come around here. And then we'll say two deep dynamite all the way through here. There we go. Detonate that. Looks good. We'll leave them to work on that. We will, however, put in one more terraforming station because we've still got a lot to go on that. So we will just toss you right on top there. That looks like a good spot to me. And that's going to take quite a few resources, especially treated planks. But hopefully it'll help us with this. They seem to be going at a pretty good pace, but faster is always better there. We've got all our dynamite in up here. Ah, that's such a satisfying explosion. We can go ahead, remove a lot of this. There we go. Just don't want to remove that one. Go ahead and detonate that. We might end up putting some of this back at some point, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. They're just now starting on this other terraforming station. However, as you can see, they're going at a pretty good pace. So I'm actually going to make it so they can continue on without too much problem. We're going to go ahead, put in the walls here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put in... Let's see. We need a ramp here. So let's do... How about two and one? And here is this, that, and that will get us up onto this. We'll go ahead and put in a connecting piece here, and that will get us up onto this. We'll have to come out this way, and this way. In fact, we'll want to come down this way eventually. We'll just put roads on top of all of these. And we'll let that fill in, but we're going to go ahead and remove some of this other stuff for the moment. We don't need any of that. We need this, or this, or this, or these roads here, or that, or this, or this, or any of this. Everything else we can kind of, well, we can do something like that. And then I'm going to reconnect this over here. Because eventually we're going to need to get into that area anyway. So we'll just make another new connection there as well. And let's go ahead and fill in some more of this. So we want to come this way. We're definitely going this way along here. This is going to come out this way. We need to fill in all of these. That comes up to the front there. And now... We need this to be a turn. Yep. And now we're going to go back this way. There we go. Now we've got enough stuff for them to build, probably. Oh, let's let's turn these sidewards. There we go. Sidewards there, sidewards there. That seems to be going pretty quickly. We'll just go this way. Need to go this way, this way, and pull another set here. And we'll let them work on that for a bit, too. Might as well put in this second bridge here for whenever they get more of this done. Let's go ahead, attach this path here. And then whenever they get that done up there, let's do... How about a ladder down into this? There we go. That'll let us take out this here. 
So we'll come back and check on them in a little while. I've got plenty of stuff to work on again. I'm going to go ahead and connect that up there so we can take this out now. That goes this way. This goes this way. And we will put in those there. And they should be able to get to those pretty quickly. They're building along here really, really quick, which is good. That's what we want to see. They are coming out and around here. Oh, this is done, so there's a good chance I can take out part of this road. Oh, they still have to get to these, so we're going to wait on that, but we'll check back here in a minute. As nice as this large water tank has been, I think it's time to move it over here. So we're going to go ahead, toss one more tank over here. Never hurts to have just that little bit of extra water. We'll say water, we'll say obtain, and then we'll actually empty this one into the other one once this is made. Looks like our storage is all in over here. Certain things are filling up, other things not quite so much, but they're doing their best and it looks like we've got a decent amount of storage going on. Well, here was something I wasn't anticipating, obviously. The corruption from here reached out all the way to these crops. So I'm going to come back through and we're just going to prevent a lot of that corruption from coming out this way. Let's go ahead, take these out. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they can go nine, but I'm just going to go eight. And that should mean all of those are still in distance. Yeah. And we'll let them build those and then build another line here so that we can keep this land uncorrupted. I think it's time to move this pile here. So we're just going to move it slightly over here. In fact, we're going to put two of them here. And we'll say both of these are for dirt, which we're starting to run just a little low on. But we ought to be okay. Let's go obtain on both of these. And we will say, actually, oh, that one is empty. So... Let's get rid of those. There we go. And we'll have them build these on high priority so they can get the dirt over here. This one is actually out of dirt as well. Are all of these out of dirt? We might actually just be playing low on dirt. It looks like... Are we low on extract? Um, Let's take a look. No, we have plenty of extract, but I think it's all over here. So we do need a little bit more extract over here. It's not a big deal either. We can go ahead, use an engine for that as well. Let's say you go here and we will toss in one bad water, deep water. Nope, we need a centrifuge. That'll use about half the power on there. If we find something else that we might need over here, we can use the other 200. Let's put in power. That, that. We'll connect them in. We'll say those here are pretty important. And we'll do this. There we go. Let's also get some storage for that. We'll get a medium tank. I'll say it right here. Take the path out and around. And this can be for extract. Uh, where There it is. And we'll make that very high priority. So that maybe they'll start bringing some over here. Let me double check and make sure I am exporting that still. Uh, let's see. Import. Where is our extract? Yeah, should be on always so they just have to bring more over here, it looks like. Decided we're going to go ahead and move some of our storage out of here. So I'm just going through emptying everything that's in this tower. I'm just going to say empty on everything. We've got all of that extra storage for it over there. And once everything is out, we'll clear everything out here. Let's go ahead, empty that, empty this. There should be plenty of storage for everything over there. There we go. And these can all be emptied as well. And 
There we go. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, we'll find out as we uh, go down through those. Once again, these beavers are really, really doing well. So we can go ahead, take out some more of this here. There we go. And have them work on getting some more dirt in here. We need to come out that far. Yep, that far. And we'll head back this way now. I might actually need to move this dirt pile. In fact, we will do that. We will say empty. And then once they empty it, we will take that out of there. It looks like we might have to make a new way down here. In fact, there's a very good chance that we will. So... Let's get, first of all, let's get the landscaping in that evens us out. So we'll do this. There we go. We'll do that. Is that the right height? No, that is not the right height. We'll do this and this. Let's get all of these in here. With all of those. There's that. And now let's make sure this comes across the top here. Those go this way. That goes this way. There's those. And that leaves one, two there. So one, one, two. Is that going to be all even across there? Well, except for that one weird block right there. That should be pretty... Oh, no, actually. That is not even across there. We need two dynamite here. And then we actually did need that one block. So we'll do this. There we go. And back around this way. And we're going to need a whole bunch more dirt here to fill in stuff so we'll get that filled in this filled in and come around hopefully this way there we go detonate that and There's that. Let's make a road real quick so we're sure that they can get to all of this. There we go. Comes around here, goes there, goes there. And now they should have plenty to work on. We should go ahead, make the crossing place here. Probably not there. We'll put you in here. There we go. Now we're good to go. Except I put that in the wrong way. There we go. And once that stuff is in and this is in, then we can close up these gaps. Let's go ahead. We will draw paths here. But I don't know at this point whether I don't need them. Oh, here's this. You're done. You are done. Wonderful. Let's take this road all the way this way. And finally finish up with a couple more of these. All right. They've got even more to do, so we'll check back again in just a bit. Well, some of this stuff is empty, so we're going to go ahead and take down these. How about this one? That one's empty. That one's empty. What about you? You're empty. You're empty. Yep. Oh, you weren't empty. Oops. Oh, well. It was berries. They can always pick up the berries at some point. Now, let's see what's not empty in this stack. The logs are empty. 
planks or not. Uh, scrap metal isn't. Metal blocks, treated planks. Do I have a place for metal blocks or treated planks over here? Logs, planks, treated planks, metal blocks. Okay, well, that's quite a few extra that we've got. So, why don't we just... Hmm. You know, we'll, we'll leave it for now and figure out what to do with it later. Still have plenty of extra beavers. So we can definitely make another one of these terraforming stations. I think we're going to put one maybe over here. There we go. And then as for what to do about getting more dirt. Well, we're doing all right, but we could be doing better. So let's see. I don't know anywhere that I really want to make a giant hole. I will have to take a look. Maybe I will put a, another terraforming station over here somewhere and put the dirt excavator uh, right next to it. It doesn't use this, but that's okay. They got our ramps in and they look to be using them most of the time anyway. So we can go ahead, close this one up, close this one up they do still have a way around there and it takes them just about as long to get there but that's okay we can wait for them we've got plenty of supplies from this side anyway so it just means we can close that up and go on with filling this in which that should be that far this should be this far Let's go ahead and remove these. And then let's get in all of this. We need these to come this way, these to come this way. And these to come all the way over to here. And where do I want to go from here? Let's see. We want this and this. Come this way. And I'm going to do a couple past this. There we go. And I want some like that. So then we just have to fill these in. Like this. Like that. And then we'll probably have to change our plans around just a bit. But I think these beavers can handle it. They've been doing pretty well so far. In fact, we'll put this down in the corner down here. So they'll have a place to get down and work on more of this. There we go. There we go. Road goes out around through here. Through here. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. We've got most of this in here, and I think it's a good time to stop and explain what I'm trying to do. Maybe if somebody doesn't quite get it. Basically, what I'm doing here is eventually I'm going to lift this area up. Uh, the the bad water discharge here has to stay at the same height, but we can get the water to come up here and eventually it will come over and fall down and go through all of these tracks, pushing a lot of the large water wheels. Now, is there a calculation that I could do to where I don't need this giant drop? Uh... Yes, yes there is. Sometimes it's about 14 or 15 or 16 wheels uh, before the water will back up here and actually uh, flood here at the source because there's so much resistance from the wheels. However, that being said, uh, I didn't want to do those calculations, so... I found a way that you can just kind of drop the water about this height and it will flow through all of this uh, 
from some testing that I've done on my own maps. And then when it gets to here on this fourth lane here, really, you have to drop it again to get a little bit more. And theoretically, you could keep doing that, but I usually only go with two. It takes up a huge portion of the map and connecting the middle power in afterwards is kind of a pain. So we're just going to go with the two sets of uh, water wheel snakes here. And what I have to do here is drop that water again. And we got to drop it down three from this. So it's a down a total of five. We'll let them get this in here. As for the wall, I believe I can go ahead, put one in here. These should all be the right height. And then we can fill in a little bit more here. As the wall should now be this height. And we might have to drop, looks like a couple dynamite in here as well. There we go. We'll get those. That's got to go out of there. And then we'll come across here. We've got this. And we've got this. Let's get all of this out of here. We'll get in more of these. There we go. So we got to even this all out across here. And we have to fill in some more here. This has all got to be one uniform height. So a lot of this is going to have to come out of there. We're going to have to figure out how to get all of this dynamited down to the correct level. This is a one. These are twos. Oops, not there. That doesn't make much sense. Put a brick in just to remove it with dynamite. Uh, we'll do one here. That one should be the right height. Then we need a couple more here. Fill in all of this. Something like that. Yeah, no, not that. And then we can just come down across here. And we'll let them get this one in. I don't want to overcomplicate it before we've got everything we need in. Well, it's a good thing I stopped and took a look. We actually do need to go down one more. So I'm going to take out this top row here. There we go. And we're going to have to put in some more dynamite here. Here we go. We can line the bottom here with these. We'll come back with more of those. Those can go in there like that. Let's go ahead, get in threes here. And we'll just up the number of explosives each one of these has. And that should give us the right size, hopefully. Let's see, we need twos here. And again, I overdrew them. There we go. Let's get rid of those. We'll get rid of these. We'll put in threes. These should be twos, I believe. And ones. And let's get rid of this. And then we'll go back in and put in more ones here. There we go. They should be able to get all of that. Also, some of these are going to need out of there let's go ahead get that in there get that in there and we're gonna have to find a way out and across i do believe here we go let's get this set up really i want to do this let's do that there we'll do one on each side There we go. And this can come this way. That can go that way. And we'll put in maybe another set of these. We should be good to go there. All right. 
we'll let this go for a while and see how far we can get with it. So we've got this first channel mostly cleared out, and now we'll simply repeat the same thing up here and make four more channels here before we just end it off the side of the map. So let's see if we can figure out what we still need to do that. Here, looks like I'm going to need some dynamite. And then we're going to need some bigger dynamite. And then we're going to need, yep, a couple more here. Actually, that one I don't need. And we're going to have to clear out a lot of this stuff here. So let's say, let's start with these. Uh, actually, do I need to go down two on those? I need to go down two. So we'll just put in the double dynamite. Double dynamite. We're going to do that so they can get up there. They won't be able to get to that one. We'll figure that out here in a second. Let's take these out. There we go. We'll take this one out. Here, we're going to want to take out two to make that level, one there to make that level. And then we are going to need some blocks over here. We'll just go ahead and fill in the whole thing. Give our landscapers something to do. They can come up here. There we go. That ought to be about the right height, I think. Um, yeah, and we'll just leave it at that. Let them go. We've got some stuff we got to clean up here. It's going to come over one, two, and then it's going to have to come out this way. Go that way. And that way. Is that... That actually might be too high yes that is too high so let's remove the top layer there we go and all of this can be the same this is the same this back wall is just a little strange from here on out we're gonna go ahead and put in this wall though I believe we'll need at least this many, so they can work on that. There we go. Now we can get this out of the way. Remove this. Let's go ahead. Get those in there. This is all the right height. This is the wrong height, though, so we're going to have to go down there. And we'll have to go down here. And one here. There we go. This one goes down three. And it goes all the way over to there. I believe that should be correct. And then we'll have to move this around eventually. Uh, in fact, I can go ahead and move around part of this road right now. I might as well, just so I can get the stuff in that I need. There we go. Let's just move this. In fact, I can probably just do this and remove all of that there. There we go. They'll get all of that in there, and I can come back and... Well, I don't even have to come back. I can just say... Stop taking this road and put dynamite there. There we go. Oops, not the right one. There we go. So that's all in there. Now we just need to make sure that these are the right height. So let's once again get rid of some of these roads. Yep. Uh, yes. There we go. Yes. That can get out of there for now. We'll get across here. 
probably want to put those in slightly differently, but we'll let them go and see if they can get through most of it. This should go across here. And yes, all of those will go down to the right height. There we go. We'll get this all cleared out and I'll snake back twice more and we'll check in after that. And there we have it. The bad water, which we will eventually change to go uh, up here and out this way, will come out this way, around, up, down, up, down, all over the place, round and around, and it comes out here. And what that's going to do when we put water wheels in here and connect them all up is hopefully going to generate us a ton of power, which is what we're going for. But we'll put those water wheels and the power system in next time. So if you want to see that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you think this is going to work. I've tried it and it works, but if you think you have something better, definitely let me know. But just want to say thank you very much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Whoa.